Nestled comfortably in their Bel Air home, Hal Holbrook and his wife, Dixie Carter, seem very much like the people they're famous for portraying. Hal has the kind of warmth you'd expect from Mark Twain. And Dixie's southern charm matches that of Maggie on different strokes. This marriage, the third for both of them, appears to be one based on honesty and mutual respect. Recently, I got a chance to find out how these two highly motivated people managed to keep their marriage special. Hal, how would you describe Dixie? She's, as you can see, very feminine and very beautiful. She has lovely emotions. She's very intelligent, but she doesn't use it on a man, on her, on me. She uh, gives me the sense that I'm, uh, uh, if not in charge, kind of, you know, the man, you know. Even though I know sometimes she's working around her wily ways behind me, get me to do things. <laughs> But she has a way of doing it that it's fun to do them. You want to do them. You don't feel a contestant there. You don't feel like you're in, in the, you're warring with somebody for position. Dixie, now equal time. How would you describe Hal? Everything that Hal said about me, bless its heart, I would say on the other side the same thing. And it's not just because it's the easiest way to answer your question. He's an absolute old-fashioned man. Like we think when we're little girls, there is somewhere you know, who is kind and good and gentle, as well as being real strong. <laughs> now that you two are married, would you like to work together? Yes, if it was a comedy, I would say, Dixie, huh? Or maybe... Well, say I why you're saying that. But we Go did work together. Tell. We worked together in a play last uh, year. We did a play uh, called Buried Inside Extra. Uh, Heard that wasn't Strange real title. <laughs> and uh, we had wonderful <laughs> actors in it, five or six actors. And uh, it was a very difficult play to make work. It was very difficult. We did it at the public theater. But it was a, it was, it was a play that had, uh, we had to treat each other so, in such a bestial manner. So uh, mean, really mean. And the, the treatment of each other was so awful. And uh, it came close to cracking us up there for a while. So you're taking some time off from different strokes uh, just yeah. to be with Hal? No, no, no. Yeah. She's doing her nightclub act back oh, there. Oh, Hal, come on. Oh, yes. I think she really wants to be with you, well, too. Well, she does. She does. But it worked out that way that she could go back to Freddie. Yeah. She played two engagements there. And I'll say this because you won't say it. You're too modest. Yeah. But she played uh, two engagements there last year in New York and was covered both times by the, all the big papers. And uh, she got marvelous reviews. She's uh, put together a cabaret, a singing act. And so she's going back again. Dixie, what is the toughest part about living with Hal? When he wants to do something, he's used to living by himself and doing things by himself. And he and the girls can say, and he will do like this. He will say, just let me, which means I'm not to come give advice, interfere, certainly give advice. Just, and he does like that. And that motion makes me so crazy because it, to me it means I'm being pushed out, mm -hmm. pushed away. Mm -hmm. And he does it, and you do admit it. You yeah, do. I do. And he says, just, yeah. just, what, just like that, just. Yeah, it's really interesting to finally be in a relationship where you, where you, where you don't mind uh, learning to give way to the other person. You know, I mean that sounds maybe easy, but as most of us know, it isn't. You know, little ways where you get your feelings hurt because you don't quite see it from their point of view or you're not quite seeing you know like Dixie hates to be, get up early or be awakened oh. you know she just hates it and uh, oh. it's taken me a while but I'm I'm getting you know I, I understand it now it's okay you know don't blow the bugle at yeah time. yeah oh That's good. <laughs> if I move in the bed too fast you know wakes her up he loves so. me very much I know that and I trust it I believe it but I tell you he jumped up Sometime last week, he jumped out into the middle of the room and he said, You don't know, you don't know what it's like to have to wake up every morning with a raging hyena in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> if you had to choose between your careers and each other, what would it be? Oh, I'd pick you, Dixie. I'd have to pick Hal. Never thought I'd say that. Hey. Mm, <laughs> that's so sweet. 